before we get started, like, subscribe, and share to this video. Don't forget to turn on the notification. Let's start! So guys, you'll need some art paper or normal paper if you have water paint. And you'll need some tape so you can tape the sides and corners. This one has... Um, we are using blue tape for this one. We're also going to use some paint brushes and some paint pencils so we can make a little circle. If you have like a cut out circle, that would be great as well. Or if you have something in the bottom, you can use that as well. So you will also need paints and these are the paint colors. You'll need red yellow white and orange you'll need the white because for this painting you'll need some light yellow and i'm going to show you how to mix that together so let's get started so guys, before we get started we will need like something like this circle shape and it would be good like so you will have to trace it out right here it doesn't have to it has to be like that it doesn't have to be big it has to be like this size and I'm going to show you how to trace it if you already know it's okay you can do it all yourself so guys I traced my circle with the paint my sister already did it too and for and now I'm going to mix up the yellow and white because we will be needing it before everything. We need it, everything ready before we start every painting. So first, you'll need something like this empty paint where I put my paints. I've always put it there. You'll need somewhere empty like that. You'll also need the orange that I already mixed up with the red. First, put a little bit of yellow. Make sure like, it's not all the way to the top because you won't need too much. That would be enough for now. Don't need the white. Don't add too much. If it like, if it if it um covers this like this much of the circle, it would be fine. But don't put too much. That's actually enough, guys. Now you'll need a paintbrush. So guys, I already mixed it up. I had a little bit more white and it came out like this nice yellow for me because that's what you will need. If it's, it's a little different from there, it's a little the same, but that's what we need. And so let's get painting. So guys, I already painted my, with my um, yellow with the light yellow, not the normal yellow. Um, now I'm going to use this yellow that I used to mix with the, ye the, the yellow that's lighter than this one. It's not going to be too much. There we go. Now if it's a little bit, not that much. It's actually, it's actually not blending in. It's not gonna be. It's like I don't have any more space with the, for the red and yellow, but I do have a little bit more. And, um, yeah, it's kind of like it's blending in with it. I'm going to blend it in better later, but for now, I'm going to do the red. I'm going to do orange. So guys, I'm finished with the yellow. Now I'm going to move on to the orange. And since I didn't have orange, I mixed it up with red and yellow. I actually added a little bit more yellow than red, but since I added a little bit more to another cup, 
I I had like enough to add more yellow and then come for me nice so before you, before you um do this orange do more yellow than red because it's going to be a little bit darker by the way I'm going to start Should I do my Sonic? This is like really red. I'm trying to put it too much. No, I mean, I'm not no, sure I mean, to um how to spread it. It's actually coming nice. I'm, it's actually like blending in. No, I mean, the orange on the pink. No, I mean, it's too much. You, you see my color? It makes. Yeah. It is. It's really, it's really, it's really like the olden time color orange. Yeah, don't see this good. This paintbrush is gonna wash too much time. So guys, I'm not finished. I just started, but since it's a little red, I'm going to add a little bit yellow. I'm not sure which yellow the yet. I think the light yellow would be more nice because it's going to make it a little bit wider. I'm not going to add too much, just like about a little bit like that much. Not as much how I put it for the other one, but yeah, it's enough. Now guys, I'm already finished. I just need to blend a little bit more. but you can see it's not blend in a lot so I'm going to let it dry and not and not make everything like dry dry and then I'm going to use my finger and like blend it in so it can be like you know the same color but now I'm going to add the red I see a red is so cool I know it's out of, I know it's out of deep red um, I'll dunk it so you can make it really beautiful. This is called dunk. Like almost a dunk for me. So I um the red is actually nice. It's just it's getting it's actually pink with the with the um orange and yellow I already knew of. As you can see that we are painting with black paint 
some trees and grass and a little bit of like ant hills. It's kind of nice. So the sunset can be even better when it comes out. Subscribe to our channel! because it has more trees than mine i have like all these small trees she has like more big tree and she doesn't really have any birds flying in the air it's just because she doesn't know how to make birds but it's amazingly good because the birds would cover the nice sky that she made i did i did, I did. This, these are the birds eating the tree oh she actually made birds just looks like branches for me <laughs> almost like him like the um other painting with the um popsicle hiding away from her like the birds are hiding away and camouflaging at the tree branches and here's mine i don't really have like a lot of like red and orange layers but i do have some nice trees i found this i found this tree technique from my teacher because one time i had to do one project with it and my birds are up in the air they're coming to here i'm not sure which place i should call it maybe um australia and so guys and that's the you. end and like our I'll art painting give us a thumbs up if you love our art painting turn on the notifications and if you absolutely love it Subscribe!